In times where the blackness impregnated science and some luminous glimmers exceptionally sprouted like strong gales. The ancient wise and curious Egyptians almost two millennia before our era already asked themselves about round and circular geometric calculus. For that the most recurrent and enigmatic question of wise people dueled in the relation of the length of the circumference and its diameter. The circle size didn't matter, that relation would be the same, and would have given a numerical constant of diverse utility impossible to prognosticate. The rational number of infinite decimals was named pi which Babylonian, Greek, Indian, Arab, and Chinese mathematicians and geometers were passionate about. In his play, The Measure of the Circle, Archimedes in the third century BC, in an amazingly way calculated pi number throughout sleeplessness and overcoming blunders. Ptolemy and Liu in later years throughout calculus with polygons of thousand sides. Achieved more exact values with multiple decimals. Around 5 trillion sides the German Ludolf van Zulen used. Lifelong obsessed in the calculation of pi to obtain 35 fractions. His was such a fixation that he demanded after his death pi number with the 35 decimals in his tombstone. Pi by his side in life and death. The computer era catapulted the calculus. In the 40s, a machine got to 2037 decimals in 70 hours. Five years later, another machine reached 3,092 figures. The IBM, after breaking several brands, reached to 250,000 digits in the year of 1966 in a little more than a third of a day. In 2009, a supercomputer calculated two and a half billion decimals in about 74 hours. It laughed at its predecessors. Just a decade later, that brand was shattered. Emaruka, young Japanese lady, calculated 31.4 billion digits at the expense of talent, not luck. The level of obsession with pi number transcended to the science people. Nemotmist had recited thousands of its digits till their minds are left inert. Rajan Mahadevan recited by heart 31,811 decimals. Phytopiphilodology. Araguchi in 13 hours recited 83,043 pi fractions. Feet of great quantity. After that, several times broke the record until establishing in a hundred thousand digits without a mistake. In 16 and a half hours, taking a 10 minute break every two hours, that's how he did. That record was never approved. The official record belongs to Suresh Kumar with 70,080 decimals in 17 hours and 14 minutes. Who would think? The British singer-songwriter Kate Bush composed a song about the passion related to the number. 
and musically recites its first digits. There are songs that sing various pi decimals with catchy melody. A version pronounces for about an hour 10,000 decimals of a normal singing. Pi has a very important usage in physics, engineering, and astronomy. Wherever there are circles, such as the satellite's orbits, it is very useful to study the curves to understand the periodic or oscillating systems, such as clocks, electromagnetic waves, and even music. In physics particles, experiments, just as the Great Hadron Collider, Pi has been used to calculate the density of the whole universe. Pi of levers, Pi of science, Pi of the curves, Pi of consciousness, Pi of circumference, Pi of pendulums, of waves, and clairvoyance. Pi of mathematicians, Pi of geometers, Pi of engineers, Pi of physics, Pi of astronomers, Pi of mnemonists, Pi of musicians, Pi of poets. Pi of Archimedes, Pi of Ptolemy, Pi of Liu Hu, Pi of Leibniz, Pi of Newton, Pi of Euler, Pi of Galileo, Pi of Einstein, and Hawkins. Pi in Fourier's transformation, Pi of the GPS, Pi in the pendulum clockmaking. Pi of passions, pi of songs, pi of memorizations, pi of obsessions, pi of education, pi of collisions, pi of hadrons.